Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an updated what's in my backpack. The last one I did was about a year and a half ago when I was still attending UC Berkeley, but as you guys probably know if you follow me on Instagram, I have now graduated! Yay! <laughs> So I don't go to school anymore, which is super exciting, but I do actually still typically use a backpack over a purse just because I find that it holds a lot more stuff than a purse does. I also feel like my type of aesthetic and the types of clothes that I wear really fits my cute little mini backpacks more than an actual purse. I feel like a purse is a little bit too classy for how I normally look when I go outside to be honest, so I like carrying the backpack with me because it helps me feel a little bit more casual. Because I don't go to school anymore, the things that I put inside of my backpack do change day to day depending on where I'm going, who I'm seeing, and what I'll be doing. The things I typically do bring that are staples to my bag are obviously my wallet, my car keys, and candy. <laughs> Those are the three things you'll always find in my backpack, but the things that I switch out more often are things like my video games, books, journaling supplies. So today I'm just going to be doing an example of the kind of things that I like to put in my backpack and you guys can get a feel of what I bring with me when I go out of my house. Which is to be honest, not that often, but when I do, I definitely bring things to make me feel a little more comfortable when I'm outside in public. So before we start, I actually have two backpacks that I typically use. This is the first one. It is my yellow Can Can. This is actually a fake one that I bought when I was in Hong Kong. I think I got it for about $10 at the night market. Um, the real ones, if you guys know this brand, the real mini ones are about $70 to $80 depending. And I found this for $10. The quality obviously is not as good as the legitimate one, which I have one of as well. But for $10, I figured that's you get what you pay for. So I really like it. I have all these pins on here that I'll show you guys later in the video. So this is my backpack number one. My second backpack is this guy right here. So this one is a real can can. I got this for my birthday, I think two, maybe three years ago. So this one is the actual expensive one. Um, I know it's super pricey, so a lot of people are really into these backpacks, but they're really expensive. So I know it's not for everyone. I'm really sorry. That's why I have fake ones myself. I don't buy a lot of these things for myself, um, but I did get it for my birthday. As you can see, I have a ton of little keychains on here, patches, pins, and I'll go more in depth with this later as well. So those are my two backpacks that I normally use and bring with me depending on the outfit that I am wearing. So just to start off, I'm going to show you guys all the patches and keychains I have on my backpack. This guy is really dirty because I took this backpack with me when I went to Vietnam on my trip and we went motorbiking across the Vietnam countryside and she got really muddy and I still haven't washed her or cleaned any of my pins or keychains. So a lot of it's really dirty. Sorry about that, but I think I think it gives my backpack character, so I kept it this way for the video. This is my little capybara keychain that I got in Tokyo when I went to the zoo over there in Osaka. This is my My Hero Academia keychain with Deku. More My Hero Academia, Otoko. These guys I got from, I think, the California Academy of Sciences in the Bay Area in San Francisco by Golden Gate Bridge. These are really cute, so I decided to stick them on there. A banana milk sticker that I probably got when I was in Korea, but I can't remember for sure. The Twice Momo pin is also from Tokyo, I think in K-Town in Tokyo. I can't remember for sure for this one either. It's been on here for quite a while. These I got in an aquarium when I was in Japan. They came in those um, gachapon machines, so the capsule toy machines, and they were really, really cute. This was also a capsule toy machine, but I believe I got this guy. She's so dirty. Oh my gosh. I got this from the Studio Ghibli Museum in Tokyo, if I recall correctly. Look how dirty she is. Oh, not to show her up skirt photo, but oh my gosh, she's so dirty. I need to clean this later. <laughs> After the video, I promise. This is my Todoroki keychain and my Deku keychain. You guys probably saw these if you watched my um, stationery and room decor haul. I recently got these and I recently got this Ochiko one from there. And that is everything on this side of the backpack. And up top here, you can see my keychains. This I got when I was in Hong Kong. It's um, from the Chu brand. It's the Lala Fen Fen deck. Here is my Twice Light Stick pin, the old one, of course, not the Candy Bung Z, but the original Candy Bung. And then here is my BTS pin. So my two ults are on the top of my backpack. On this backpack, I have a lot less keychains. There's a lot fewer keychains on this one, but these keychains, this one, this one, and this guy I got from Honey and Flower Co., which I will link down below. This um, pin, the Stray Kids pin, is also from an Instagram shop, but I can't remember exactly who it is. I will link it down below once I find out later. This patch, Rolling with the Homies, is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. This I got from a little store in Berkeley. I believe it was like a handmade shop that was just 
a little pop-up in Berkeley, I can't remember exactly. And this I also got when I was in Hong Kong. This is again like my little pin that you saw in my other backpack, the Lala Fen Fen Duck from Chu Brand. Here I have my Twice Land pin. It's official. I believe I either got this from Choice Music or Music Plaza in Los Angeles. And this pin is the LGBT Pride Disney pin. I don't remember where I got this actually, but maybe at the Pride Parade in San Francisco? I can't remember for sure for that one, but that's everything that's on this backpack. All right, so this is supposed to be a what's in my backpack video, but so far it's just been a what's on my backpack video, so I promise we are getting started now. Let me open this guy up and show you guys what's inside. All right, so this is supposed to be a what's in my backpack video, but so far it's just been a what's on my backpack video, so I promise we are getting started now. Let me open this guy up and show you guys what's inside. Item number one is this tiny fan that I have. I bought this when I was in Vietnam at Aminiso there, I think, and it is super useful. It has a button on the back and it's chargeable here. One press turns on the flashlight, another one turns on the fan. This was a lifesaver when I was in Vietnam and in Thailand. I am definitely not used to the humidity over there. The heat is probably like 100 degrees Fahrenheit and it does get that hot or hotter in California as well. But here it is dry heat. So the humidity was something that was really killing me when I was over in Southeast Asia. And this was super helpful for me to adjust to the climate and weather over there. Also, there's glitter in it. So who doesn't love that? It is super cute, super useful. And I think it was probably like two or three dollars only. So I highly suggest getting this if you are going over to Southeast Asia to travel and you are not used to heat like me. The second item in my backpack is my wallet. Currently it is empty because I have all of my cards and stuff in a separate wallet that I use now that I carry with me as a clutch purse for more fancy occasions. So this one is my casual wallet and it is empty because of that reason. I have my little All Might keychain on here. He is adorable and it's really convenient. Sometimes even if I don't carry my backpack, I just stick this guy in my pocket because it's so small and I keep cash in here. Just kidding, I never have cash because I am not someone who is very responsible with having cash around. I always lose bills, so I normally just have my cards in here. Um, yeah, and this has little pockets, etc. Wallet, you guys get it. Third item is some candy that my mom bought when we were in Vietnam. She bought multiple boxes of these because she bought them just to try and then our whole family became obsessed with them. I eat bags of these like it's nothing. I eat them all the time. It's so tingly and refreshing. I haven't seen any candy like this anywhere available for me in the US yet. So my mom just buys them every single time she goes back to Vietnam. So this is awesome. If you guys have seen it, definitely try it i'm obsessed fourth item my mirror it is a mirror <laughs> i don't know what else to say there's cute little avocados on it i got this either at moji or b corner when i was in vietnam there's cute little glitter pieces in it i play with this sometimes when i'm bored and i'm just waiting for my mom to finish shopping or whatever i'm very easily amused so this is fun to play with for me and here you can see me hello um yeah and i just use this when i need to see if there's food in my teeth or if my hair is messed up you guys know the drill. I just need to make sure I look presentable for the outside world. Next thing is my pencil case. I bring this with me whenever I plan on journaling or using my bullet journal outside. Most of the time I only use like my planner, but I do bring a couple of things with me. As you can see, I just have a couple of the mild liner brush pens, some other brush pens, a white pen, a glue stick for whatever reason if I'm gonna glue a receipt in. Pretty basic, and then I have an eraser and some bobby pins in case I have a hair emergency and that's it nothing particularly interesting in this pencil case because I don't have that much in here my other pencil case when I do plan on doing actual like k-pop journaling has a lot more stuff in there peeking out here you guys can see this is my six room binder um, I did throw some stickers on it. I got so jealous of everyone who has the BTS season's greetings and they were putting all their cute stickers on there, their keychains on it, and I wanted to decorate mine too. So I have this sticker here from Aitabel and these two stickers are twice stickers from Hana Vibara. I will link these down below and I'll link my binder down below as well. Do not worry. I know you guys are always asking where I get my stationery from, so I will link it down below. This is just a little keychain that I got in a group order a couple of months ago. And then these are just my regular bullet journal setup. So yep, this is the one I bring with me. I have obviously more threads behind that, but those are more personal. They have more personal information about me, so I'm not gonna show them, but this is the one that I carried around with me to do my basic journaling, bullet journaling things. So this is basically just for utility and I don't really post pictures from this one on my account. 
Next, I always bring a book or a video game with me as some type of entertainment. I don't always use it, but just in case like none of my cousins are around or I'm left waiting by myself for a long time, I always bring some kind of entertainment so I have something to do. This is from the library, hence I have the washi tape at the top. <laughs> it does tell you the city that I live in, so I didn't want that to be too public. But yep, yeah, this is currently what I'm going to start reading soon. This is a Star Wars novel. I have not read any Star Wars novels before, but I wanted to try because obviously they're popular for a reason, right? So this one is what I'm reading next. I will let you guys know what I think of it on my blog. In the back though, I have very exciting things. I have mosquito wipes because I get bitten by mosquitoes a lot yes it is terrible it is the worst thing ever and then for me my and my sister our arms will like swell up my sister's arms and legs will swell up so much when she gets bitten by mosquitoes so i have these just in case i go anywhere that those little devils might bite me i also carry around a bunch of napkins this is a habit that i learned from my grandma and my mom they always just steal napkins from restaurants and then put them in their bags just in case now I only have a couple of things in this tiny little front pocket. I'm going to show you guys really quick. More napkins, as you guys can tell. I have gum that I carry with me all the time. Um, just in case I need to go somewhere and my breath stank, I have gum. A necessity. I have Aquaphor. I use this as lip balm. It's super, super, super cheap and it works well for me. So I just settle with this one. And then I have a lollipop. Oh. A secret pin oh my gosh a ponyo pin i didn't even know that was in there wow surprise a ponyo pin i'll put that in my backpack later um i have a lollipop from c's candy i pretty much always stick candy in my backpack and the vanilla lollipops from c's are some of my favorite candies to eat i really like hard candy so as you guys can probably tell from the stuff i had before and i have a fenty beauty lip gloss the last thing i have in the front pocket is something that always gets me in trouble at tsa my tiny little swiss army knife it just has scissors, I think, on this side. Oh my gosh, if I can pull it out. Come on. Scissors. This side has a nail file and a knife. This one's the knife that gets me in trouble at TSA. This one's the nail file. Doesn't get me in trouble, but it is attached to the knife, so everything gets me in trouble. Then at the top, you have a toothpick and then tweezers. I'm obsessed with these. Um, you guys probably remember I used to have a green one, but that one was confiscated by the TSA, so I had to purchase a new one. I will link mine down below. I got it off Amazon. So I decided to buy myself a little pink one. Holy grail, very necessary. Everyone should have one, in pink specifically. And that is everything that I have in my backpack. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.